doing a garden video here. I don't claim to have a green thumb, but we're trying to get this garden to grow without any weeds. So here's a trick, and it worked good for me last year. We're gonna try it again this year, and hopefully I'll be able to give you a full video on uh, the before and afters. So here's our garden, it's about 20 by 30. Not that big. It's big enough, certainly, to take care of. What I did here, uh, you can see some bare dirt, but that's actually where garlic is planted. The rest of this is going to be uh, just regular garden, and it's uh, it's got red rosin paper, or painter's paper, or construction paper of some kind, uh, that I put down, I just layered it. So you can see how it comes about three foot wide pieces. And, you know, a lot of people use newspaper. A lot of people use newspaper here, but you know, it's such a pain. Golly, newspaper is a pain in the neck. And you put it down and the wind takes it away. And You know, the, the trick to getting the wind to not take it away is to wet it down. You can see how I've, I've wet this down. And it's a whole lot easier just to roll out a roll. So you roll from the high side to the low side, cut it, make another roll and roll it out. A whole lot easier to do. Then what I'm doing, as you can see, is put wood chips down. So I've got a load of chips out in the front, but uh, I'm gonna have to put some, I'm gonna have to really put a good layer on here. So three, four inches of chips will really, really do it. And then what we do is we plant through it. So we gotta, we're gonna have peas over here. This is our really pitiful uh, arbor type thing here. So, um, anyway, the trick is to keep it real cheap. Very, very cheap. Very easy. Maintenance free. Because I hate watering, I hate weeding. So, you'll see what trick I use for the watering later. Um, hint at soaker hoses. Anyway, um, so here you have it. And I'm going to throw some more chips on here and hopefully do another video as we go uh, along here uh, on the garden. Oh, let's go over here real quick. My blackberries, which didn't do so good this winter. But over here is where the tomatoes do the best. Right on the back side of the house, right up against the house. And I have some old insulation here just to reflect some of the light and heat. But for whatever reason, this spot up against the house here, which is where I have bamboo and whatnot, this spot, the tomatoes love this. They grow much better here than they do in the garden. So, uh, we use these green ties to tie them up too. They work really well. This um, Velcro stuff. Gardener's Velcro. Honestly, for they, we, we used to get it at the um, home improvement store, but uh, I believe I actually picked that up on Amazon. I picked up four rolls for pretty inexpensive. And boy, does it work really nice for tying up anything. You just cut it to length and um, zip it right around anything. And for the most part, it doesn't injure any plants. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, there's my video for the day. Time to get back to work on the garden. And I'll get you some more video pretty soon. Wanted to do a video here. It's uh, end of May. It's actually Memorial Day tomorrow. And uh, demonstrate how my... Uh, garden process is working here. We've got garlic here, tomatoes, which are kind of peaked looking right now, but uh, they'll get going. I had a little bit of a slow start this season, but as you can see, uh, no weeds. Basically zero. Um, so for the most part, I go up and down the rows here and make sure there's not uh, too much going on. Oh, look at this. Here's one. It looks like a violet. Pull that. And this, whatever this is. Goodbye. So that's my whole weeding for the day. Um, so, so far this is working out. And I'm going to do some videos throughout the summer. That way we get an idea of uh, if this is ultimately going to work or not. Here's some zucchini over here. And on this pile of mulch here, I got some, a uh, couple of watermelons. And 
Katrina's got pole beans over there. Some these, well, these cages here, which if you haven't seen, uh, these cages are concrete remesh or steel remesh, uh, six inch squares. And it comes in a sheet that's uh, a roll that's five feet high. So what you do is you count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, squares and roll them up and then you weld them. Right down there you can see the weld, the MIG welder. There's a weld, there's an all the way up and down. So you hit it with the MIG welder and uh, you have a tomato cage that will last a very long time. Uh, there's some people online that say they've got theirs at 15 years without too much trouble. I think Dad's got his, his at least 10, if not longer than that, maybe closer to 20 at this point. So ideally uh, use a, a MIG welder. Uh, it goes pretty fast if you do them. So six cages here for the tomatoes. I'm going to do bamboo here for the tomatoes and peas over there. And we'll just keep uh, keep the videos going throughout the summer and everybody can get an idea of uh, how this whole system works with the paper. I think it's pretty good. Uh, we got soaker hoses here, so I literally have uh, one valve up on the deck to throw. And I've got a system right there, four valves through my to my irrigation hoses for whatever I'm doing. So it's real simple, keep it simple. That way I don't have to come out and water every day. That's it. And uh, hope you like the video. And we'll see you sometime maybe in July. Bye. It's late June, almost July. And here's the garden. As you can see, uh, some stuff is doing better than others. We've not had very much rain been very disappointing um, so I'm doing a lot of watering these soaker hoses are on quite a bit uh, lettuce is doing okay just a couple of pieces not a not a big patch a couple of strawberries they're small um, peas are doing really well so but as you'll notice hardly any weeds up oh, up oh, up oh, up oh. I think I see something over here. It looks uh, like a dandelion. Let's get rid of that. And a, a violet. Okay, we'll get rid of that too. So that's more or less my weeding for the day. Um, you'll see a lot of this stuff is small, especially the peppers. Um, one of the issues with putting in a garden like this is that all this stuff starts to rot. And uh, Dad says that the uh, the nitrogen in the soil is, is gone, so you need to hit it with some miracle grow. And sure enough, uh, let's see if you can see this. Yeah, get one leaf coming out. I hit that with miracle grow, and guess what? It's coming. That that got damaged, and and that pepper plant may actually survive. So things are, are a little bit late in coming because I hit them with the miracle grow a little bit late, but uh, watermelons finally starting to come. And finally the zucchini plants are showing some some life. They were small and yellow for a month. They did nothing. And then a week ago I put some miracle grow on them and all better. So they're they're gonna be fine. I just threw a few extra tomato plants in here. I don't know if they're gonna live or not or whatever, but hopefully they'll they'll be alright. Uh finally the cucumbers are coming up. So again, uh needs a little bit of miracle grow earlier in the season. I think I, we would have done a lot better here. So that's the video for for now. Uh, we'll probably see sometime in, let's see, late July. And I'll do another video late July. So, thanks for watching.
final video of the season. Here's the uh, the garden. Again, the question is, do I have weeds? Well, a few, but not too many. Like for instance, down here, there's a couple here. Pull those right out. But, I mean, that's as hard as it is to weed, so couple more weeds here and there, but by and large, we did pretty good. The problem was we had these cucumber beetles that had got us and got our whole row of cucumbers here. The tomatoes are okay, um, but they, they're not stellar. I just didn't get miracle Grow on them in time this year, so they didn't come out quite as big as I'd hoped. Um, cucumbers were good. They were coming just fine right up until the beetles got us. And the zucchini borers got us early, and they've been leaving us alone for the most part now. Now we got all kinds of sawdust on these, but... Uh, oh, there's a zucchini. Better pick this. If you don't have a knife trick to pick a zucchini, just twist it. It comes right off. So... Uh, uh, we had a couple of melons that rotted. wasn't a good season for melons. We had just no rain, so I gotta do better with the watering next year. Kind of gave up on it a bit, actually. In contrast and comparison, blackberries did pretty good. Look at that. Fine season for blackberries. These tomatoes are better. So these are seven feet high right up against the house this is a spot that they like but these are the we get good tomatoes here so and if you look even under here not too many weeds for the most part we I just let this go I didn't really even weed it at all this, the, the nasturtium is kind of taken over uh, kind of everything actually <laughs> it grew up through the deck even over there so, anyway, uh, essentially made this video to show people that we can have a garden more or less without weeds. It is possible. Um, and uh, Charles, you know who you are. I feel for you, buddy. So anyway, uh, signing off for the season. That's about it for this year. And she'll pull this stuff up rototill all this under and start again next year so thanks for watching these videos do appreciate it don't forget to subscribe happy DIYing